guys, so today's video I'm gonna be showing you how I do my makeup. Right now during like winter, it my skin starts getting really dry. So pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is applying makeup that looks very glowy. Everything's gonna be very glowy from my eyeshadow to pretty much everything else. And you're gonna see what I like or how I like to do my makeup around this time. I don't like my face to look oily because of my natural oils, which I don't really get around this time just because my face is so dry, but I do like to prep my skin in a way that it's going to be matte. I like the glowiness to come from the makeup. So I am going to start off with my primer and I'm going to be using two different ones, but I'm going to apply this one all over my face. This one is a moisturizing primer and this one does go all over my face. So the next one that I'm going to use is the Silky Primer and this one I feel like just gives me a glow and like a like a nice surface to apply my foundation on. So I'm just going to apply that pretty much around my nose and on my forehead in between my eyebrows. And then once I have it there I just like to spread it around all over my face. Now I know you're thinking what the heck those are a lot of primers but trust me they just make my makeup look really nice at the end. Now before I plan my whole makeup, I forgot to show you guys um, a few things that I used. Well, a couple of things that I used. I used the spray for my whole face, which is just a spray that I apply everywhere. And then I used this one on my under eyes. I just didn't show that. I also already did my eyebrows, just so you know. Alright, so the last primer, which I know, it's another primer, is this one by Lancome. And this one is strictly for around my nose just because it fills in my pores. Now I know it's a lot of primers, like I said, but I like the way that it looks. Sometimes whenever I don't wanna apply all three, I just go in with my moisturizing one and then with my Lancome one, but I wanna really show you what I do, so I'm gonna show you the, the real thing, which is all three of them. I know it may seem like a lot, but trust me, it works for me. So next, I'm gonna use my foundation. This one's the foundation that I've been using lately and I'm almost out of it. It's one of my favorites. But this one is the YSL to Chiclet Le Tint. And first of all, let me shake it because it's all the way on the bottom. So I'll go ahead and just put that on the back of my hand. I just put like two pumps and then I take my beauty blender and I apply it. Okay, so that's all the foundation. I do like to apply it on my eyelids. I just like to apply it everywhere just because I like the way that it looks even. And if you don't believe me about all the primers, I'm gonna show you a little close up so you can see the way that my skin looks. It just looks really, really smooth. And trust me, using all the primers, it really helps my makeup routine. All right, okay. So right now it does look kind of matte, but we'll get to the glowiness in a little bit. Now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and I'm gonna use the Lorac Nude Necessities palette the majority of the time, just because this one does have a lot of nudes, a lot of golds, and a lot of shimmery tones. But I do need something to set my foundation that I have there. Um, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the MAC Paint Pot first. And even though I do have foundation, it really doesn't make a difference to me. I still like to go in with my primer. And I'm just going to apply it all over the eyelid. Because the foundation will crease on me. So I prefer to just use an actual eyeshadow primer. Alright. So that's the eyeshadow primer. Not a ton. It's just enough for it to set. And next I'm going to use my Lorac palette. And I'm just going to use this color so that way I can set the primer first before going in with any other colors. I'm just going to apply that all over the eyelid. Now I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to apply this color on the corner. I'm just going to use that one on the transition area. And this is not going to be, you know, like a... It's not going to require a lot of blending or anything like that. This is very, very simple. So this is something you can do pretty fast every single day. What's gonna be the main thing is like the rest of the face, not really the eyes, so. Next, I'm gonna use this gold one and I'm just gonna apply it right below 
kind of like in the crease, but mainly below it, using the same brush. All right, and then I'm gonna use my Lorac palette again because I'm gonna use this color again and set right up here the brow bone. I don't really want that to be shimmery and if I do, I do that towards the end depending on how everything else looks. But most of the time I use a mat for that and then I'm just gonna take it off with my blending brush. I am gonna do my lower lash line and everything, but that's once I'm done with my concealer and everything else. So next is my concealer, and I'm gonna use this um, erase paste that I always use, and just apply that with another brush. Go ahead and blend, blend it out with my finger, just because this product is a little thicker and it does work better whenever I use my finger first. After my finger, I'm gonna use my beauty blender though. All right, so now I'm gonna use the corner of my beauty blender and just blend that out. And trust me, I can tell the difference whenever I don't use the erase paste. So I really do feel like it works wonders. You can already tell the difference, right? I'm sure you can. All right, next I'm going to use my concealer. And this one's going to be the Cover FX one. And I do like to use a light one to brighten up at the same time. I'm going to apply it with my finger. And this one's going to go underneath my eye on top of the pink one. But it's also going to go just a little bit lower. So that way you can brighten. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I just pick up whatever I have on my hand and then just blend it out. You see how it just looks already so bright and pretty? I really like the way that that looks. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the concealer. Just a little dot goes a long way. And I'm gonna apply that on my forehead on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on top of my lip. And then taking whatever is left on my hand, I'm just gonna apply it on my forehead first. You see how that looks very, very bright? I love it, it makes me look wide awake. And I know I probably look sleepy at the beginning, that's because it's so early and I was just waking up, putting on my makeup, getting ready for the day. Next, I'm gonna set it and I'm gonna use these two. I mainly use this one the most, but I do like to mix in the yellow one. I just feel like it works for me. So I'm gonna take my brush that I always, always use. So I'm gonna take those two colors and just set my concealer with it. Now I'm not baking, but once I apply my eyeshadow underneath, sometimes I have fallout. This palette does have a little bit of fallout, so I do like to just take it off with another brush. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. So next I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring and I'm gonna use the color medium right here. And this is the new brush um, that I just got. If you saw my Get Ready With Me, you saw this brush, I got it from Avon. Really inexpensive, but I've been really liking it. And I'm just gonna start right up here and blending it down. And then I'm gonna take my other brush, which is just a fluffy one, and just blend that out. I'm also gonna use this brush to apply it on my forehead because I feel like the other one's too precise and then it's just gonna look like a line. So this one's fluffy and I like it. Next is gonna be the uh, blush. And I'm gonna use my blush brush and I'm gonna use this shimmery blush from Becca this one's called songbird and I really like it because it's like a very light orangey shade peachy shade I'm just gonna apply it up here and it's shimmery too everything is shimmery pretty much and look at how nice these blend out it's just I go in with the light hand though because they can get crazy really fast and then I'm gonna blend that out with my brush Next, I'm gonna apply my bronzer and using this Sephora brush, I'm gonna use the Too Faced, uh, what is this one called? Sweet Tea. This is a bronzer. And I'll apply it right here in the middle. And I pretty much just blend everything together, you guys. I don't really, I don't know. I just don't make like, like it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want my face to be glowy, so. I do want it to be blended. I do want all of that. So there, and this does bring a lot of warmth to my face. 
lot. Compared to the way that it was earlier, it does bring a lot more to my face. And next is the highlights. And I always like to start off with my e.l.f. little shimmering facial whip. Yes. Because it gives me a good base for the highlight and it makes it look even more glowy. What I like to do is just do this first because then I'll get dots on my face since it is it does like dry. So I'm just going to apply that right here. And then I grab a little bit more and I also like to apply it up here. Remember, this is a very glowy look. So we want glow everywhere. And before it like really dries, I'm going to apply my highlighter right on top so it can grab onto that. And for highlight today, I'm going to use... Let me see. I really like using this one, but I also like using the color gold from the, the Smashbox palette. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use... I'm gonna go ahead and use the Becca one today. And I'm gonna use this one right here. This one's called Moonstone. And it really does make a difference whenever I apply the e.l.f. product first than when I don't. And I also like to apply this one on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. There. And I forgot to, well, sometimes I do it before the highlight, sometimes I do it after, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to take the brush that I used earlier for contouring. I'm not applying any more product. I'm just going to swipe it on the sides. And then I'm going to use the other brush that I was using for contouring. Because both of these have a little bit of product still in there, so. Alright, so now I'm going to finish up the eyes. I'm going to go back to the Lorac palette. And I'm going to take the same eyeshadow and apply it on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this one that's a little bit darker and apply it on the outer part. And sometimes I do add eyeliner, but today I just didn't. And sometimes I do. And I might add some falsies. Next, I'm gonna take my um, e.l.f. e.l.f. shimmering facial whip, the same thing that I used for highlight. And I'm going to apply that with my brush here and apply that on the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm going to set it with the same highlight that I used for my face. And it's just a tiny, tiny bit, but it gives me a glow, it gives my eyes a very glowy look. Then I'm going to take my bronzer brush and just kind of blend everything out again. And it still has a little bit of bronzer on it, so it's still shimmery, it's still shiny. I'm going to curl my eyelashes and probably apply falsies. haven't decided yet. I'm also going to remove the powder that I had down here. For mascara, I'm going to use this one, by, ugh, this one by Avon. And this one's also one that I just started using in my Get Ready With Me video. It's a little weird, but I have been liking it because it does make my eyelashes really black. Just gonna apply a little bit because I'm gonna apply the falsies. And it's really hard to close actually. For the falsies, since I'm not wearing any eyeliner, I do try to get them. I mean, I always try to get them as close as I can to my eyelashes, but especially when I'm not wearing eyeliner and the glue is the black glue, so you can really see it if I don't. So I try to make sure that it looks like it's really close to my lash line. And while I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lipstick. This one's by MAC. It's called Persistence. It's the newest MAC lipstick that I have, and I have been using it a lot. And this one's one of the mattes. Matte finish. I really, really like it. Again, it's called Persistence. So I think my eyelashes are done. I'm just going to take my hair down. So this is the complete look. It's very glowy. That's what I like for winter just because my skin is really dry and like this looks glowy, but not because it's oily. Just because of all the products that I used, most of them or all of them are very shimmery. And in case you're wondering about the eyelashes, I am wearing Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. These are the only ones that I've been wearing just because I like the way that they look. Very natural, but at the same time, they still make your eyes stand out. Hope you guys enjoyed my go-to look for winter because it's winter now and this is the way I've been doing my makeup. But uh, that's it for today. I will see you on my next one. Bye.